What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, what's going on, folks? You know who this is and you know what I do, so I'm back to give you another video today. Today I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to talk about how, and I'm going to correlate this, so I'm going to talk about how black people they're like NFL referees. You know the NFL is about to start off where it has started by the time I put this video up. And I'll explain to you how black people are like NFL referees. Now, there were, I was in this Facebook group and like I get invited to a lot of Facebook groups and I join them. Why not? I'm trying to converse with like minds and other people. So uh, I'm in this one group. And this one lady, lady posted, uh, had a post up talking about how Ed Gordon, if you don't know who Ed Gordon is, look it up, but I'll give you a background. He's a journalist, excuse me, he has his own production company. He was, he was always on BET. I think he I think he was, correct me if I'm wrong, I think he was a guy on Black Enterprise Weekly or the magazine, the one's on like here, it's on like Sunday, it's on like every Sunday, Black Enterprise. Ed Gordon, look him up. Well, Ed said, the problem with the Black World I'm, 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 gonna, I'm not going to say as little what I'm going to say, I'm going to paraphrase what he said. Basically is we shouldn't watch the websites like World Star and uh, that we should, every time we should post, say we should, something about how we should shake our head and this is shaming people, talk about how don't watch World Star because it, it uh, shames the people, makes us look bad to others. And uh, she asked him, what was our thoughts about this? Well, first of all, I said, number one, look at Facebook. World Star is not doing anything as bad as Facebook's doing. You got all these fake ballers who can't pay their child support, and you got all these wannabe models putting like 90 billion pictures up and not getting paid for it. Like I said, go figure that out. But you got a lot of other buffoonery and coonery on Facebook. And she says, well, okay, I know you got a point. Everybody has a lot of people agree with me. She goes, what about this? I said, well, okay. I said, Ed has a point to a degree, but what Ed's saying doesn't take away from the problem. I said the bigger problem is the people who is performing these acts and ideas, and that's what we started discussing. And like one person said, well, 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 World Star presents a negative view. I'm like, wait a minute, World Star just reflects what people are doing. Let me, I, and I made a quote here, and I made a, I made a, I made a comment. World Star can only put out what you're doing. If it wasn't for people doing these ratchet hood fights, if it wasn't for work, people doing these, you know, knockout games, it wasn't for all this dancing like you're a model when you're not, if it wasn't for a lot of other buffoon and coonery, World Star would have nothing to play but rap videos, which they didn't begin with. It was rap videos. Like, I, I used to watch World Star when it was like, when it first came out, people noticed it was just rap videos. And it was like, like a lot of the other stuff. But when it started jumping off in that stupid shit you see now, I quit watching World Star. When it was like straight rap videos, I was watching because, like I said, it showed you rap videos and it, showed, and it even showed you up and coming talent before they became famous. It even showed you cats that you never heard of who had talent who could be famous, but the record industry is on some fuckboy shit. That's another video for another day. But what I'm talking about is, I'm saying, when we were getting, it was getting kind, it wasn't getting heated, but it was getting kind of heavy. It was like people were pointing the finger at World Star. I'm like, all right, let me, let me explain to you something. No, I need something. I need, I need a, need a prop from it. Hold on. These are the keys to my cars. Okay. I say I have. Let's let's look pretend I have a sports car. This is the key to it. Now, if I throw these keys away, I don't have the keys no more. But, do I still have the sports car? Yes, I do. And that's the point I was trying to make. What it is, is, you can take away all these websites. There's more than this World Star out there, by the way. There's a, there's, there's, you can take all the World Stars, you can take all the negative websites down, you can destroy them, you can burn them all, you can do what you have to do to get rid of them. Even if you have to go through politics, whatever, whatever you have to do, get rid of them. But that's still, 
delete and eliminate the behaviors that are still happening for the videos to get on World Star? The answer is no. And that's why I say black people were like NFL referees. And like here, here's here's the correla correlation. Follow me here. If you ever watch a football game, and I watch a lot of NFL, like I said, the cities I was in, I moved to the, I'm in Columbus, Ohio now, and it sucks to be an NFL fan, but I make dope, go Jets. But uh, if you watch on some penalties, it's not, it's always the second guy that gets called for the penalty. It'll be like, maybe it'll be a guy that like sit somebody in the head, you know, in the helmet, and the other guy retaliates. Well, that's when the referee throws the flag on the guy that retaliates. It's, it's, it's this common penalties system. And this is how black folks are. They want to say, well, World Star is making black people look bad. World Star is just the engine that drives this thing. But you need the fuel to fuel the engine. If there was no fuel for the engine, the engine wouldn't run. And a lot of people are saying, well, the will, the will. I'm like, no, I ain't no well this, well that. You have to go to the people who are doing these behaviors to get them to cut it out. Now, if they don't cut it out, hey, I can't look, I said, I don't watch watch this website no more, but at the same time, I can't knock this dude for being creative and getting his capitalism on. I can't knock it whatsoever. A lot of you people are mad because you're not doing it. I mean, you can create a website. I know some people have tried. There's some that do it. The fact of the matter is, if it wasn't for the people doing this, you wouldn't have World Star. Well, you'd have a World Star, but it would be like back in the day, we would just put out rap videos. The problem is, is I know people, you know people, everybody knows people. you got someone who wants to be famous no matter what to extreme and they're willing to do anything they want for this fame. So they get on websites like World Star and a couple of others and they do, they perform their fuckery. So I can't hate on World Star. I can't say, well, they shouldn't do it, World Star. No, World Star is a business. Unless you're a 501c, it's not a charity. So at the end of the proverbial day, don't get mad at World Star. You get mad at the people performing. So, there's so, some of the, some of these people are your friends, or your cousins, or your brothers and sisters, or your kids, or your mammies. And in some cases, are your grandmammies and your grandpappies. So if you want to eliminate the problem, don't eliminate the engine. But you still got the fuel. You got as long as you got as long as you got the fuel to fire the engine, you're going to have a, a lot of horsepower. And black folks are known to give a lot of horsepower. So if you want, if you want to stop it, stop that, stop the buffoonery and coonery first. Then go after World Star if they're still doing it. But World Star is not doing anything wrong except capitalizing on a situation, right, wrong, or indifferent. Like I said, I have my opinions, but I, like I said, I can't hate the man for doing what he does. It's called capitalism, and that's what black people don't understand. You're in a capitalistic society. I'm, not, I'm tired of hearing all you guys' excuses. A lot of you are my, my age, a little bit younger. You had time to do something in life. You didn't want to. You won't blame everybody. You know, you need to go. You need to go home. You need to go in the mirror when you brush your teeth. You need to look at that person in the mirror. That's who you blame. Don't blame the next man because you don't want to do it. Well, peace.